How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption. Today we got a couple things to go over. As you can see on the screen, Eva the Crusade Stage 2 is up and they have not nerfed the rewards, which is fantastic. This is no joke. This is for relics in the museum. It's awesome. It's so many exhibit coins. It's ridiculous. Um, I was not going to open and unlock any more commanders, but based on this, I think I should do Mina and Tao Tao. Honestly, I'm going to use them in Lost Kingdom in a couple days for rallying barb forts. Barb forts in uh, Season of Conquest KVK are actually pretty tough. So I think I might do that. It doesn't make sense not to. If this is what we get every KVK, it's huge. This is pretty much three to four commanders worth of relics and exhibit coins. Very cool. We also have da, 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 more than gems. More than gems to do on three accounts. I'm going to do it on this account to 1937. I'm just going to go up to 7k each day. I'm saving the rest of my gems for Holy Knight's treasure. That's where my focus is right now. Obviously, I want to finish Herald, but I don't want to drop 25,000 gems on more than gems each day for 50,000 50, gems. That's a little too much. However, on my alt account in 2396, I'm going to go with 7k gems each day as well. And then for my free to play account in 2563, I'm actually going to do 25,000 gems worth of VIP points in the first day and then 7,000 on the second day. And that still leaves me with enough gems for the upcoming holiday event, which is likely going to be the 7,000 gem buy-in. So I think it's pretty sweet that More Than Gems is here, especially on my free to play account. So stick around. Uh, one thing to mention beforehand is if you want to join us on discord please do i've got a link down below jump in we've got a lot of things on our discord lots of uh, event reminders as well for when i'm going to live stream i know in advance when i'm going to be live streaming for war and kvk and that's going to be the place that tells you when i'm going to be doing it so jump into the discord check it out and uh, obviously if you have any suggestions in there we have lots of bots a suggestion bot as well so definitely check that out but Let's get into it. Let's train some troops. Let's grab some of those coins. Let's open up some relics. Let's use some gems and let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, I still have Duke. Obviously the gem farmers are coming back in, but let's do, I did grab a 10% training rune quite a while ago. So it's running out. You don't have to train many troops, which is awesome. I'm going to convert T4 to T5. So I should be able to get through this pretty quickly. I do have to be careful not to exceed uh, 5 million points overall, which shouldn't be too hard because I haven't pushed anything else. So I'm going to push a bunch of troops, see where I land. I did the math in my head a little bit and I should be totally fine, but we're going to keep an eye on it. So let's first of all finish off all of these T4 troops that are training, it's not going to get me many points, but at least I can finish them off. And I'm going to focus more on upgrading my infantry. I'm going to have three infantry marches this KVK, two archers. Um, I will actually hit that up to do that just in case I decide to do some of those. And we're going to need a lot of cavalry for XY Nevsky. We've got a few of those in this kingdom. Uh, as you can see, already grabbing a bunch this is not going to be hard to get to 200,000 let's just do a couple more infantry uh, let's use a bunch of one minutes actually yeah we'll just do that right there make it quick another one already done okay this should be pretty easy I like converting t4 to t5 just the amount of time it takes is nice I don't think I'm getting as many points as I would be if I was just training straight T5. But um, I do like just training T4 on off season and then upgrading to T5 during KVK. And this is Eve of Crusade, so it's part of KVK. Okay, really not much going on. How are we doing for, obviously we're gonna get a bunch of quests here. What are we, oh yeah, we have lots of room to go for 5 million points. We're going to finish this, which is nice, Lots of free rewards, cannot complain with that. Let's use those 30 minutes. And it should just be one or two more. And then we'll be able to go in and unlock 
relics. I did not think I was going to be unlocking anytime soon. Maybe we got one more here. Hopefully I still have Duke. Yep, I still have Duke, which is great. And we'll finish that. And this should be it. Yep, that's it. Very easy to get these done. Even if you're doing T4, the points were eight points each. It's not going to take you very long to get those. That's it. That was a lot of exhibit coins. The fact that you're getting these from events for free is not what I thought would happen. I thought whales would have everything unlocked and everybody else, you know, dolphins or medium spenders or low spenders or free to play would not be able to open all of these. But it's seeming like we can. So let's just do unlock and buy. There we go. Mina's done. That is a lot of extra buffs. That's going to be great. I know it's just for barb forts, but you know what? I could use him anywhere else as well. He's definitely got the stats now to be in open field. I don't like using Mina in open field anymore, but it's an option. Okay, view. So now it jumped from 100 to 120, which is fine. That's okay. And it's still 900 of the, uh, what are these, relic coins. So we'll hit that up. Obviously, we're going to save the next batch. I did mention I want to do Milan eventually, but she's not going to be expertise for a while. But there we go. We got Tao Tao. We got Mina. We will eventually do Milan, who's now at 140. So it's definitely increasing. I imagine once they add more commanders to the museum, it'll start getting really expensive and you'll maybe be able to lock one or two each KVK you come up to, which is still pretty sweet considering all you have to do is train troops. Okay, next, let's see how we're going to spend 7,000 gems on this account. I know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do 11 of these. Confirm, five, and a bunch more. Bring it down to 14. And then I'm going to get two of these. Actually, I'm going to get three of these. Why not? And then I'm finished. I went a little bit over, but not by a lot. And there we go. I went over by 50 gems. Not a big deal. I've got a bunch of sculptures for it. Tomorrow, what will I buy? I will obviously finish off this material choice chest. And then I don't know. I already have a bunch of these. I think I've got nine defensive boosts. I've got 10 attack boosts. I've got, what else do I have here? Boosts. So I've got, yeah, 10, nine. I've got 12 of these. I'm, I'm going to blow through these in KVK, but I don't think I need to buy them right now. I might have enough for KVK and then have to restock the next time more than gems comes out. Um, I might just end up doing that material and then buying the legendary sculptures. That's really all I need from the VIP shop. Uh, obviously, the speed ups are good, but I'm not a huge fan of buying speed ups or resources from the uh, VIP shop. Um, so we'll finish the material and then maybe two legendary sculptures, and then who knows, maybe something else small in order to finish it. Okay, I will deal with my gem farmers after. Let's jump onto my account in 2396. I don't think I had anything else to do on here. I can't forge my chest piece yet. Uh, I should be very close now, 38, 10, seven. Yeah, I only need five more pieces, so we will be crafting that soon, which will finish off my set, my infantry legendary set which is going to be fantastic right before KVK. And then the next goal before um, we fight, I want another accessory, hopefully more as web. I can craft it before war. Might not be able to, but we'll see how Holy Knight's treasure does. We'll see uh, if archeological dig comes out again before then. But And then of course, rewards from KVK and barbs and such. So I might be able to, but let's jump onto my account in 2396. Okay, gems wise, I've got 33,000. I don't right now have my supply depot active. I'm waiting for recharge event. I'm going to unlock this probably twice so that I have it. Um, I don't think I'll unlock anything else, but I do want to wait to recharge to get some kind of bonus out of it. Um, I did do the daily offer to unlock YSG because that's what this account needs. Um, Alex if I could click them, is close to being able to push to level 60. And now with YSG unlocked and skilled up a bit, 
I'll be able to push YSG. I highly doubt I will have him expertised by next KVK. It's almost certain that I won't have him expertised by next KVK. But even, you know, if I get a five something, something, three or four on the last one would be sweet. Um, that'd be nice. I definitely use it behind, behind Alex and I'm still going to get a decent AOE field. It won't be circular. It won't be as high damage, but it'll still be great. Okay, what am I going to get on this account? You know what? Does the merchant have? No, she doesn't. So I need to get, let's just click all of these off. Every time you switch, unfortunately, it reopens all of these, which is just super annoying. They totally need to get rid of that. But anyways, let's go to 7,000. What can I get? VIP is an option. It would be very nice to jump up to two legendary sculptures a day. That's actually a really good choice, 7,000 each day. I could use attack defensive buffs. I don't need army expansion. Why don't we do that? I think I'll do 7,000 today on attack and defense buffs. And then tomorrow I will do 7,000 of VIP points. And then hopefully I get lucky with, um, you know, gifts. That would be awesome. Help me with VIP points. And over time, I'll get it. But let's go back into where's VIP here on this account. Here it is. Let's go in and grab. Can I even get? I can't get attack. Okay, but I can pretty much finish this. So let's go with nine. And then how many is that going to be? Oh, that's, I don't know if I can do that. I should be able to do that math 10. 7,500, uh, no, I'm not gonna be able to do it off the top of my head. So I need 250 left. Let's just go in, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna get two of these, one, two, and boom. I need material, I need the defensive buffs, I can't get the attack buffs, bit of a bummer, but once I get to VIP 12, I can. So tomorrow I'll push VIP and then I should have VIP 12 sooner rather than later um it would be nice if i could work that faster but unfortunately there's not many ways other than gemming it and getting gifts or buying things but i'm not really looking to do much of that on this account since it's just an alt uh, okay that's it for this account i showed you the citadel obviously i'm just gathering i've used up all my action points for today uh, or at least for tonight let's jump on to my free to play account can show you that one and this is nice being able to do 25,000 VIP on a free-to-play account I have been saving these are all gems from um, the monument rewards it's gems from capturing passes from uh, shrines sanctums altars I haven't used many gems I did buy a couple things with gems like VIP shop I did buy the eight hour speed up a couple times just to push power to keep in the top 100 rank uh, in fact, how, where am I right now in the top 100 individual power 63 still doing great. Just want to stay in the top 100. No issues with that. Uh, I obviously have my fog already completed. This is where I've been getting a lot of gems from making sure that I'm in alliances that can get these rewards, um, which has been fantastic. Let's go in and buy 25,000 gems. Wow. 25,000 gems on a free to play account is no joke. That was a lot of saving, but I'm going to get legendary sculptures for VIP, which I need anyways. And the goal with VIP on this account is obviously to get to 10 for one legendary sculpture a day, which is really going to help, especially with getting commanders like uh, Charles and Richard to 5511 or just 5111 and then YSG I've got to work soon. Um, obviously I, I want to save for the YSG wheel, but I can do YSG over time for not many gems. It might take me two wheels to get him, but I will be able to unlock him. I'd rather spend these on the VIP points. So let's, let's smash these. Wow. One, two, here we go. VIP nine. Here we go. Claim that. Awesome. So now I get two universal epic sculptures each day. Let's go with three, four, and five. Wow. That was a lot of gems, but 
Now we've got a lot more sculptures and let's see what we can do. So I've got, I wanna finish Charles. Oh, I can't even finish him. Oh man, I'm only at 14. Okay, I'll have to finish him tomorrow. What is my Richard at? Two, one, 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 so pretty sad. Um, but there's still some wheels on Richard. I might get lucky. I might get some eights for a free or a 50% off one spin. And then I will spin to 10 as well for Richard. I think we have one more Richard wheel left. And then it's going to be YSG. I think that's what we have left. Um, so I might still be able to get some sculptures of Richard. So I'll just do Charles first to 5111. And then the rest will go into Richard. I don't think my original goal of getting Charles Martel to 5511 is going to happen before KVK. Um, gold keys haven't been very lucky. But at least I'll have them at, you know, 5-2. Maybe 5-3 if I'm really lucky. Probably not. Probably just 5-2. But... If I can get him to level 50, maybe level 60. What's he looking like right now? Yeah, he's still a ways away. One, can we get, uh, yep, yeah, sweet. We got a crit and can we get another crit? Yeah, sweet, double crit. So we're almost able to get him to five star, which is gonna be nice. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him to six star. I think I'm just gonna push for Richard and Charles to level 50. I think that's the best I can do and then try and get Charles after I get both of these to 50. Um, even getting Ethel Fled to 50 might be worth it. Having an Ethel Fled Joan March could be really fun in open field, especially if our enemy does not target Ethel Fled, which they'd be crazy not to, but it is KVK season one. So I might be overthinking how much the enemy knows, although there are a lot of jumper programs now and it's likely we're going to run into a lot of jumpers who have experience in the game okay that's that's it we jumped a vip level this is my free to play account it's training troops it's farming like crazy it's doing everything possible to keep powering up i don't know what my power is going to be before kvk war maybe 15 million maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less i don't know i don't have too many um, I don't have a great understanding of what I can accomplish before KVK because I have not done a free to play account like this before. I've always spent a little bit of money on either monthly gems or, you know, the what's the best bundle here? I can't remember. King's Coronation, I believe it's called. King's Coronation. Always done something like that. Um, and Growth Fund. Growth Fund is a no brainer. Like, especially look how many gems I could get. Like, I could do both days of 25,000 if I did growth fund, but we're gonna keep it strictly free to play. Okay, that's it, that was a lot. That was three accounts worth of more than gems. Uh, first two accounts, obviously not going to 25,000, but my free to play going to 25,000. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit the like and subscribe. We got lots more coming on my main account. I am stoked to jump into Strife of the Eight. You can have a lot of content on that. I am trying to line up somebody to watch my kids on Wednesday when we go into Lost Kingdom. I want to try and live stream that. I'm not sure if we're going to have the update. So we'll go over that just before I finish this video. If you've stuck around, um, you'll be able to see this. But I'm not sure if these improvements are going to happen in my kingdom or not. And why I say that is this update's going to happen on the same day that our Lost Kingdom opens. So this patch is likely gonna happen at six UTC. It'll last until nine UTC. Our Lost Kingdom will open on the ninth, right at 0000 UTC. Will we get these updates? I don't know, probably not, but we might. And if we do, I think it'd be sweet to be live streaming. Also would be nice to show people the first, you know, two, three hours of what a live stream looks like um, and what I do to bump up my crystal mind to 25 and get everything ready as quickly as possible because those first few minutes are very important, including Lost Canyon. Anybody who's been in KVK knows you need to jump in that queue really quickly, but um, that's the hope. So hopefully I'll be able to live stream on that day. But until next time, guys, thank you for checking this out. I will catch you again soon. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Later.